Hey guys, uh, so in this video I'm going to be going through a plugin uh, that is for, uh, it's called Plugin Multi Export. So it does uh, two things. One, the obvious, it will export multiple plugins so that you can import them in one shot into your show file. Um, while MA does support uh, exporting multiple things into a single XML most of the time, uh, it doesn't quite work the way you would expect it to uh, with plugins because uh, each plugin has its own separate Lua file as well. Um, so if you do it just trying to do it through the command line, it'll give you multiple plugins that are all labeled correctly, but all have the same Lua script. Um, so I set this up as a, a workaround to that. Um, the second thing it does is it makes them possible to import in previous software versions. So if you're working on a show file in version 3.5, um, and you export your plugins and you walk into a house that's got using like version 3.1.2 or something like that, um, you can still import your plugins to it. Um, so, there's the two things. So let's get started. Um, if I go to our backup menu here. So first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the correct drive selected that we want to be using. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select my uh, thumb drive here. And when we click the plugin, it will prompt us giving us the current export path. So at the top we can see uh, current path external. That means that it is not the internal hard drive. Um, if, I uh, know. Uh, if I switch to the internal drive and we click it, we will see current file path internal and it will give us the file path. Uh, when you're running this on a console, this will probably look a little weird to most people um, because it will be a Linux file path. Um, you'll see like slash media slash SDB something. Um, what you need to look at, what's important to look at there is just if the path says internal or external. If you're trying to export to your thumb drive, make sure it says external. Um, so, with that in mind, I'm going to switch back to that drive, and, alright, so we're good to go on that. So you can either enter plugin uh, numbers in one at a time, um, and so on and so forth, or you can just give it a range. So I can say 15 through 39, and we can see there's a bunch of empty space here, but when I hit enter on that, it's going to tell you uh, however many plugins it actually found in that range. Um, so it's not going to export any empty spaces if you have any in your range. So I'm gonna hit okay on that. And when we're done, we just hit enter again. Then it'll ask for an XML file name, which is going to be the file name you're gonna see when you are uh, importing to another show file. So I will say, uh, Uh, so we'll do that, multi-export test, and then it'll run its stuff in the background, and it'll give you a pop-up here that will say um, plugins exported successfully. Um, if you're running on a console, this is where it's going to stop. Uh, however, uh, on, in on PC, it will go ahead and open up a file browser with that window so that you can see where they ended up. Now, what you will see here is one XML with the name that we gave it, and then a uh, in this case, 11 Lua files, one for each plugin that was exported, saying part X of Y. Um, it is important to note that all of these have to be in the same location for you to be able to import your plugin. Um, so you can't have just the XML or just a couple of the Lua files. Each Lua file corresponds to a separate plugin. But if you have all of these in the same place, it'll be two clicks to import the whole thing at once. Um, so with that in mind, uh, we have exported to my thumb drive. I'm going to shut and oh, just so you see, uh, I was running this on version 3.6 for the demo. Um, so I'm going to exit from here. I'll save and we're going to open up version 3.3.4. So just to show you again, we are on 3.4 now, or 3.3.4, sorry. Um, one important note while we are importing, fuck off. Said copy. Copy. There we go. Um, so one important thing to note here is that because uh, MA was not set up to import multiple plugins at once, um, it does not look ahead to see if it's going to overwrite anything. So uh, when I go over here and I go to import my multi-export test, that plugin that was right here has now been overwritten with um, the plugin that we imported. So that is why on the uh, file name, it tells you how many parts it's in, so that you know it's going to be a multiple part uh, import. So you can look at that number and see, okay, do I actually have enough spaces? So just be mindful of that when you're importing so you don't accidentally uh, overwrite something. 
Um, but that's it. Uh, and it's, like I said, uh, we are on a previous software version right now, and it imported just fine. Um, so that's that's the whole plugin. Uh, it's free download. It's on my website. Uh, links in the description, as well as link to Facebook page, and there's a newsletter for keeping up with upcoming plugins and tutorials and all the wonderful uh, self-promotional social media talk at the end of a video. So I uh, hope you guys like it. Hope it helps somebody out. And I'm going to go grab a damn coffee. So uh, have fun.